Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk a bit about cap treatment in VSP and how this works on different components. So I've given this single section wing a bit more sweep and what we're going to do is we're going to focus in here on the leading edge and see how this changes when we change the treatment. So we're going to jump to a tip view and we're going to change this tip cap type to round. And you might recall that we can adjust the tessellation settings here. And this is going to give it more sections both out here on this cap and at the cap at either a leading edge or trailing edge closeout like I've defined here. So you can see that we have control over things like the length, which is how far this gets pushed out relative to the distance here, and the offset. So you can give it either a plus or minus offset relative to where it would be if it lofted here. And notice that by changing the offset, this is just a vertical touch point. So we can also change it to things like an edge, where again, we can change the offset and the length, or we can change it to something like sharp. Now sharp is just a little bit different. We can set it to close sharply, but you give it some strength to loft tangent to the upper and lower surface here. So you can make it out and round. You can give it a little bit of tangency. You can have it close a little bit. You can give it some offset. So there are a variety of ways that you can make different closeout types using this different type of cap treatment. There's also a thing here called sweep stretch. So if we jump to a top view, let's look at what sweep stretch does for us. That's basically taking the sweep angle and it's going to loft it just a little bit farther and try and make this curve a bit more smooth. And then back here at the trailing edge, there's another thing that we need to look at. So let's jump to a trailing edge view. We have this set as an edge type, but for now, let's go ahead and drop it back to a round. But on the closure on the wing itself, we have this still set to flat. Well, let's go to our modify tab. And what we're going to do is change our trailing edge cap type to round as well. Now then, we have a rounded cap on the trailing edge and a rounded cap on the tip. And what VSP is going to do is it's going to fill in those sections with its own little quadrant here or it's a quarter of the shape, and it's going to blend from these points to these points and collapse everything down. So VSP knows that if you have different section types, you can blend those two together and it will do that stuff for you. So if we come back and change this again to something like sharp, we can. We can turn the tangency down a little bit. And again, VSP is going to fill this corner in however it needs to do. It's smart enough to connect all those points together for you. So. That's a bit of discussion about how we can adjust the closeout types and the cap types on components in VSP. If at any point you have access to a cap type, these are the parameters that you can change and that's how you can modify them.